Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap Video Tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Bootstrap Border Related Classes. We understand how do we work with borders in Bootstrap. Let's have a demo and understand step by step. I minimize the word. I double click on my first Bootstrap site folder to open it. Inside my first Bootstrap site folder, we have created a default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open inside the notepad. It has the basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to bootstrap demo. And we have linked necessary CSS and JavaScript files. Here in the body section, I am going to create a div, opening div and closing div. I say here some text, file, save, minimize the notepad. I right click on default.html page, say open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open inside the Chrome. Title is set to bootstrap demo and some text is displayed. In bootstrap, we have border class. Border class sets the border on all sides of an HTML element. Let's see that I go here, I say class border, file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that top, right, bottom, left border is applied, right? That's what the border class does. Next what I do, I'm going to add some margin. Here I say m-3. We have already discussed margin and padding related classes. m indicates margin. It applies the margin on all sides and 3 indicates 16 pixels, right? File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that 16 pixels margin it added on all sides of the HTML element here. Next class we have is border-top class. Border dash top class sets only the top border guys. I go back here. I am going to copy this div and paste down. Here I say border dash top file save go to browser and refresh. You can see that only top border is applied. There is no right border, bottom border and left border right. That's what the border dash top class does. Next we have border dash right class. It sets only the right border to an HTML element. I go back here. I am going to copy this code. Paste down. Here I say border dash right. File. Save. Go to browser and refresh. You can see that only the right border is applied. Next we have border dash bottom class. It sets only the bottom border. I go back here. I am going to copy this code. Paste down. Here I say border dash bottom. File. Save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that only the bottom border is applied. There is no left, top and right border. Next we have border dash left class. It sets only the left border to an HTML element. I go back here. I copy this line of code. Paste down. Here I say border dash left. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that only the left border is applied. There is no top, right and bottom border, right? So that is how you can set border only on left side, only on bottom side, only on right side, only on top side and on all sides of an HTML element guys. Next we understand how do we remove the border. I go back here, I am going to copy this code and delete, file, save, go to browser and refresh. Nothing is displayed, you see that. I go back, again I am going to add a div. I say here opening div and closing div, here I say some text content and I use the class margin of 3 and border should be applied on all sides. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we have a div with a margin of 16 pixels and it also has the border on all sides, right? I go back here. I am going to copy this code and paste down. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that one more div is displayed. Now I want to remove the top border. To remove the top border, we take help of border-top-0 class. Border-top-0 class, what it does? It removes the top border of an HTML element. So I go back here, I say border-top-0. You should see the first div top border should be removed. File, save go to browser and refresh. You can see that from the first div, the top border is removed, right? Next we have border dash right dash zero. It sets 
the right border to zero pixel that is it removes the right border of an html element i go back here here i say border dash right dash zero file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the right border is removed i go back i'm going to copy this code and paste down next we have border dash bottom dash zero it removes the bottom border guys i go back here border dash bottom dash zero file save go to browser and refresh you can see that only the bottom border is removed right next we have border dash left dash zero it removes only the left border guys i go back here i'm going to copy this code and paste down here i say border dash left dash zero file save go to browser and refresh you should see only the left border is removed we have the top border right border and bottom border next we have border dash zero class border dash zero class removes the border from all sides of an html element i go back here i'm going to copy this code and paste down here i say border dash zero file save go to browser and refresh you can see that top border is removed right border is removed bottom border is removed and the left border is removed so that is how you can remove the top border right border bottom border left border and border from all sides of an html element i hope you guys have clearly understood next we are going to understand how do we set color to border so we are going to understand border color related classes i go back here i'm going to select everything say delete file save go to browser and refresh nothing is displayed i go back here i'm going to add the div again opening div and closing div tag and here i put the content some text and then i use the class margin of 3 and i want the border on all sides file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we have the div again we have border dash primary class it sets the border color to blue color i go back here i say here border dash primary file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the border color is changed to blue color right next we have border dash secondary class it sets the border color to mid gray color i go back here i'm going to copy this code paste down here i say border dash secondary file save go to browser and refresh you can see that one more div is created it has the border color set to mid gray color next we have border dash success class it sets the border color to green color i go back here i'm going to copy this code paste down here i say border dash success file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the border color is set to green color next we have border dash warning class it sets the border color to yellow color i go back here i'm going to copy this code paste down here i say border dash warning file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the border color is set to yellow color next we have border dash info class it sets the border color to pale blue color i'm going to copy this code paste down and i say here border dash info file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the border color is set to pale blue color next we have border dash danger class it sets the border color to red color i go back here i'm going to copy this code paste down here i say border dash danger file save go to browser and refresh you can see that one more div is displayed and the border color is set to red color you can see that next we have border dash dark class it sets the border color to dark gray color i go back here i'm going to copy this code and paste down here i say border dash dark class file save go to browser and refresh you can see one more div is displayed and the border color is set to dark gray color next we have border dash light class it sets the border color to light gray color i go back here i'm going to copy this code and paste down here i say border dash light class file save go to browser and refresh you should see a light gray border color applied here next we have border dash white class it sets the border color to white i'm going to copy this code and paste down 
here I say border dash white file save go to browser and refresh you should see a white border is set as we have the background color white we don't see the difference here if you want you can set your own border color also by using the CSS border property for example I'm going to copy this code from here okay and I paste down I'm going to delete this part and then I use the style I say here border of 1 px solid red semicolon 1 pixel solid red color I am applying file save go to browser and refresh you should see a border applied and it is in red color it has 1 pixel thickness I go back here I am going to copy this line of code and paste down if I want dotted border then I can say here dotted file save go to browser and refresh you should see one more div created with the dotted red border right so that is how you can work with borders in bootstrap I hope you guys have clearly understood I think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends I suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly try this code yourself experiment with more examples in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about bootstrap for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share this video with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial